We're live. Are we? What are you, a seal? Oh, oh. oh that's not a seal. That's a... Well, it... seals do like fish. Oh, oh. No, that's not a seal either. Jay Barnard, Chef Jay Barnard here, and this is Lake to Plate. Uh, we're doing an early episode because Torn and I are busy this afternoon, right? Yeah, Torn? we got stuff going on. Yep. And tonight, very exciting, the Kenora Chamber Awards. Kenora District. District. Carmela, if you're watching, please let us know what it is. KDCC is the... KDCC, where we won last year, uh, Small Innovative Business of the Year for 2016. We're actually nominated for that again uh, for the second year, and uh, I'm up for what? Manager, Manager of the Year, of the year or something? Entrepreneur of the Year yeah, or something. Yeah, something. <clears throat> so uh, that's exciting. We get to go hang out with all the uh, Canorians. Canorians? Canorites? Canorites? Canorians? I don't know. You're a lifelong. Hey, you know, one, one guy that makes me proud that got nominated, and I support him a lot, Print Gear. If you folks aren't getting your stuff done by Kyle Gagne, and before that it was his dad, Ron, supporting local and going to Winnipeg, shame on you. Straight to print gear. That's where you go. It does phenomenal work. Let's Great the hat. Price. Show the hat. Yep, the hat. He does his hats. He does his shirts. He does well, his... I, I got I long need... underwear on too. Don't done by him. You want to see the long underwear? Okay, and we got toques. Kyle does phenomenal work. He's getting very innovative and very creative over there. I think he got nominated for business under two years. Wondering why we didn't get nominated for yeah. Two years. Yeah, Scotiabank. We, we can't win them all, eh? No. Anyway, uh, so I'm very excited for him. Jamieson Long wants to know if print gear does fedoras. You might see the fedora tonight, actually. You should get a custom fedora. I think I should get with, with freshwater cuisine on it. Yeah, of course. And then uh, Torn and, our, uh, and I are flying, right? We're flying. Jet setters. Jet setters. We're flying next week, so we're going to do a lake to plate probably Tuesday. Yeah. Because we're gone Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Torn and I are going to Southern... Is it Southern Love Ont Local next week? Is it Love Local? I, no, I, it's I, on the 20th. Okay, so we got one more week. we got one more week. But we're heading off to uh, Southern Ontario for another amazing honour. Uh, we're not opening up the can of worms yet because we're not allowed. But we will be uh, <clears throat> doing lives all the way down to uh, Southern Ontario. It's not really that many, though, because we're not driving this time. Yeah, we're not driving this time. That was fun, though. It was good going Very there. Tired. Getting back yeah, was... Uh... Tired. So, uh, another exciting honor from uh, the province of Ontario. Eh? They've been good to us. Freshwater Cuisine. They love what Freshwater Cuisine is doing. I love that. And um, what else is going on? We're getting some fish. Doing some movement west. Yeah. West. Vest. Vest to the west. Okay. So, uh, we're going back on walleye again. We're going to do walleye. Here's some nice, beautiful, talented, larger walleye that was filleted by the finest... Walleye have curves. <laughs> they do. So what we're trying to do is find ways to use big walleye because a lot of people don't like to eat big walleye or big pickerel because they find them fishy. Jay has a special connection with the bigger fish. That's great, I do. Because I'm bigger. Yes. Right? Okay. So what we try to do is we try to get creative and innovative on ways to eliminate... The fishy taste to big fish, correct? Correct. Why do people say it tastes fishy? What is fish? It is fish! It was like this time. I'm just going to tell a quick story about this time. I was at the boathouse. I went out talked to this guy. He said, hey, chef, my beef is beefy. Was I supposed to say, does it taste like chicken or it tastes like shrimp? I didn't even know how to take that. Took his plate, got him a new steak. He ate it. Don't understand it. Don't get it. That's okay. We're here to create and mask the flavor of fish for the fishiness people out there. Uh, so also, uh, our good friend at uh, Binner Marketing, right? Yeah. Murray Binner, my main man, Murd Dog. He brought us some uh, gluten-free breadcrumbs. They're like... Uh, Kinnikick. Kinnikick. So we're going to be trying that for the first time. Also, we're supporting Grace and Good Spice. Crazy Good Spice. Crazy Good Spice. That's all her amazing spices. You can get those all over the place. She's doing phenomenal things with spicing. But today, because it's Wednesday, we wanted to do a No Waste Wednesday, right? Yeah. So since we're uh, taking off out of town, we figured we'd clean the fridge uh, and do a side salad, right? So what do we got in there? So have you looked? So actually, there? first we're going to be doing. Um, should we call them perch fingers or perch? Well, we're using walleye, so let's not yeah, call so them perch. We're not going to call them perch. We're going to be calling them walleye. So should we be calling it walleye fingers or walleye bites? 
Oh, I like walleye fingers. Yeah, chicken okay. finger. Okay, so oh, you doing... know what I like? We got a little honeydew in the fridge. Oh, honeydew. So we're going to be doing uh, coconut gluten-free walleye fingers. And then with the No Waste Wednesday, we're going to the fridge. We're going to the fridge, Torn. I haven't even let's looked see. in here to let's see, see what's what we in got. Here. Open it big and wide. Oh, we got some ketchup. Okay, so uh, in our salad, we're going to use ketchup. No, we're not. Is it a hot salad or cold salad? Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, oh, hey, look, we got some. Uh, oh, we actually have lettuce. We got lettuce. I guess it's a cold salad. We got uh, we got greenhouse from Saskatchewan. Ooh. Well, it, locally grown in Anaheim, Saskatchewan, not California. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. We got some Brussels sprouts. It's a bit of an odd one in a cold salad. We got some uh, tomato. We got some onion. Straight we and got, uh, No, no celery. Hmm. Leek. That's been in there for that. That there. might be uh, waste. Just throwing that one out. Goodbye. Oh, we got some cilantro. Some cheese. I, I don't like cheese. Yeah. Let's keep that oh, there. Okay. Oh, we got a poblano. Oh, there are things. We got uh, some other peppers. Oh, we got a red onion. Do we have a red mm, onion? Yeah, some of these peppers have a little mold. They're uh, going they? to trash. Yes. Okay, so we got some other peppers. Here. Don't use moldy peppers. Use moldy peppers. Use moldy peppers. Okay, so we'll use one of these. How about one of these? No mold about it. No mold about it. And, uh, okay, so we cleaned out that. Oh, look at this. We even got... Look at that. Some berries. berries. Some more berries. Hmm. So just to summarize, we got peppers, berries, onions, tomatoes, What's cilantro. This? Hey, you want a shot of this? I, I'd take a shot. Okay, we're not going to tell anybody what this is, okay? Okay, so they that's guess. they can guess. They can guess. Okay, so this is our uh, this is our salad tornado. I gotta create I'm something. Just gonna say out of that. the asparagus looks a little out of place. Let's, let's Does it? Uh, yes. What if I uh, maybe you should cook the asparagus? What if I fried this? Hey, you wait! Fry? I think I saw something here. Oh, you got something else? K fry. Garlic. Oh, how the hell did we not take the garlic out? We need garlic. I saw so we got some of that nice basil in there too. I don't know what you uh, did that. Well, that's what I want to do. Let's take one of these, mix it in with that. You know, Grace gave me those basil cups. Yeah. Groom herself, okay. she said. We have uh, covers coleslaw dressing today. No. Uh, uh, you broke John's heart. Oh, bacon. Bacon. Okay, so we got bacon. So we'll fry these up. This will be the salad here, right here. And here, these can go on cold. These can go on cold. That can go on cold, and this can go on. This can go on hot. There you go. Bingo, bango. We had a lot in that fridge. Good to clear it okay, out. Okay, so good to clear it out. This is gonna go in cold. So uh, okay, we'll get to that. But cleared it out first. <clears throat> for the alcoholic in me, we have these nice Scotch bonnets. Courtesy of Peter Ecker. Courtesy of Peter Ecker. Mr. Peter Ecker. Your son's doing very well. Okay, so. No, oh my. Doesn't that look good? I know. I love this stuff. Okay, so uh, we're not going to tell you what this is. You can guess what this is. Cheers. Delicious. You know, you know what? It gets better with, with time. Eh? Like a fine wine. This one right here is going to be one of our newest inventions. That's We're a not, 2022. This is a 2022. Mm. Phenomenal, isn't it? Delicious. Just the right amount of kick. That's it. So we're going to hide that. Nobody can figure out what that is. Okay. What do we start with? Let's go with the... Uh, Deep fryer on. We're using deep fryer today. Deep well, fryer, pan fryer. Yeah, and we're gonna do. Uh, we might as well get the uh, Brussels sprouts and bacon going, huh? Yeah, I got them nice and cooked. Okay, let's get. Uh, now that I pulled the pulled the fridge out, we got a lot going on in here, don't I? Okay, so we're just gonna uh, thick cut, thick cut bacon. Yeah, we're just gonna cube it. actually might be a good salad. It's a hot 
hot salad or cold salad? Well, these are going to be hot. Those so are it's a double salad. Yeah, it's a double salad. Um, okay, we're going to put this in here. Get that high on heat. Max that out. Let's use all this up. Back in the day, I would have just washed those bags and reused them, you know what? I thought that was only chicken bags. <laughs> just chop away the asparagus. That's it on the No Waste Wednesday. Folks, I challenge you to do the exact same thing at home. Leftovers, whatever it is, try and use up as much as you can before it goes old. Because we're all guilty of overbuying. We're all guilty of not... Going and getting fast food when we just got food right there in our kitchen. I challenge you to do the same thing we just did today with your family. It could be like a family thing, no? What do you think, Torn? I can't think of a better family bonding experience. <coughs> Me neither, like just, you know? Yeah, maybe you and Julie and Shanika and the baby can all do that, get the dog involved. Uh, I thought so. Maybe the cat. I don't really have any family, so I, I, don't, I don't really. Care. No. Okay, so what we're going to do here, let's just get our salad together first. Cold right? salad. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, use some of this. Just, so just use a handful of this, eh? We got some mixed greens. Those are nice mixed greens. Yeah, nice mixed <laughs> greens. Okay. Then we're going to let's use this up. Yeah. yeah there go. Love a little red onion. So you know, essentially. Uh, you know what? We can call this the uh, Kenora Greek salad. <laughs> hmm? No? Okay. So we're using the tomato. Well, I've never seen berries in a Greek salad. No? Just throwing that out there? Just That's why I said it's a Kenora Greek salad. Right. How about a No Waste Wednesday salad? I think a No Waste Wednesday salad's pretty good. Oh, Robert B. Turner's watching and says hi. Hey, the B Man! <clears> hey, <throat> then we take our uh, peppers. No Folks, if you're, not, if you're not cutting your peppers like this, you're missing the boat. It's a weird way to cut peppers. What like, I, I do them like a pumpkin. I take the pour out. The yeah. way looked a lot quicker, though. Really? Yes. I thought so. Because then you make... See, see what happened? No seeds anywhere. You see that? Yeah. So we're just going to... Oh, Robert B. Turner said we need some big smoke barbecue all-purpose rub for some fish. You know hey, I, send us some our way. You know Hold what on. I noticed about uh, Robert B. Turner? Mm -hmm. He's looking to do a hot dog cut. Doesn't even know we have a hot dog cart for sale. Good deal. <laughs> Contact us, Robert. Here, blackberries in there? Throw them all in. Ah, we're going all in. We're going all in. We're going all in. This is the uh, one you got to watch, though, eh? Well, the seeds had a nice kick. Oh, no seeds. Seeds are from the trash. There we go. You know what I learned about uh, working with hot peppers? What's that? Never touch any orifices on your body <laughs> after touching the hot peppers. Really? Yes. Hope you didn't go home and... <laughs> I was at home. <laughs> it was a bad time, Charlie. <laughs> it's for the mate. Okay, so that... That's a pretty simple salad, isn't it? So in the frying pan, we've got... Brussels sprouts and bacon frying up. I'm going to be delicious side for coconut crusted uh, walleye fingers. Okay, so we're just going to let that go for a while. Uh, hey, let's throw some of these in there. The pea shoots. Yeah, these are good. Let's just go like... So if you're just joining us now, we uh, it's No Waste Wednesday. All this stuff will be leftovers in the fridge. That's going to go in there. Okay, and then we're going to do some cilantro. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little brown there. It's uh, getting it's really brown. brown. It's getting brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. They waited too long on the cilantro. There we go. Let's hit that up with some uh, a garlico, eh? Yeah, get it hard with the garlic. And you know what else? Basil. That's nice basil. It's a nice way to keep basil. You know, you harvest it in the uh, summer, you put it in these little sauce tins, and you freeze it. Okay, let's get some pepper in there. A little salt. This is uh, quite the salad, just throwing it out there. Just a 
quick chop. Look at that. Is that beauty or what? Nice little salad. Nice little salad we got going on here. Let's give her a little, uh, little color. Woo! It's nice. Uh, we'll come up with a uh, dressing here after we do the two-way. Some honey dill on there. <laughs> That's a good idea. I think I think it'd go great on salad. Honey dill. How about honey dill with white wine vinegar? Ooh, that probably actually would be a nice salad. Okay, so now. Beauty. Smell the basil now, the bacon, the thick bacon, the garlic. That's a beaut. Let's just move that aside, let that cool down. We're done there. Okay, let's kick her into the walleye. We're just going to leave this right here until we figure out what we're... Like, is that a fillet? That is a freaking monster. Is that a fillet? That's like a uh, hey. guy on the wall there. Hey, it's like holding the belt, eh? No? Alright. Okay, so let's take this piece out. Good bone. No bones about no that. No bones fish. about it. Bones. No bones. About it. Okay, so then all we're gonna do. Torn, this is how easy this is gonna be. <sighs> See, perfect size. Finger, for finger. Finger. Nice. Buttes. You know what serving walleye fingers? That'd be brutal. I agree with you. It Traz. Sucks. James. What's going on? Put them on your kids' menu. I agree. Okay, so from here, we're going to here. Okay, and here we got uh, the old... Uh, hey, look at this. Look, are we going to be able to do it the right way this time, finally? Oh, can we do it on screen? On screen. So we got a two-way today. So we got a two-way. Better put that in there. Fish goes in the egg. Fish goes in the egg. Uh, just need to hold on here a second. This is here. Mm. Ha. 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 You have trouble with the two-way? No. Okay, so uh, we're looking for a new kitchen. Uh, we've asked a million times. Do friends if you're watching. How about Gusto? Did you get our pilot, Gusto? Hey, Gusto, Chris Knight, you get the pilot? Uh, who else? Hobart, no. Hubert, no. Kitchen egg. Anyways, egg milk. Nutri Grill got back to us. Nutri Grill got back to us. Thanks, Stephen McMillan. <coughs> okay, so in kinna. here, we got the kink kink. What's it called? Kinna kick. Kinna kick. Kinna kick, gluten free. We added coconut to it. We're making coconut walleye fingers. Fingers. We got the deep fryer set up at 350. Okay. Yeah? Beauty. It's much better cooked. Just throwing that one out there. Oh, you don't want to do the, uh, the walleye sashimi? Sashimi? I'm going to take the hard pass on that one. Let you take the first bite. In we go. Into the oil. Oh, that's some nice clean oil. Yeah, well, our kitchen staff here cleans it for us. Isn't that a nice one? They do the dishes too? They do. Okay, in we go. Between pizza pops. <laughs> Gonna put that over there. We're done with No way it's about it. We're done with that. Clean this up. We have fish frying, asparagus cooling. Okay, that's gonna go right into the uh, our salad chilling. Okay, so now that's a very nice. Look at that, Jordan. Very nice. Okay, nice and golden brown. Oh yeah, colors are coming along. Okay, so now let's uh, let's give this a rinse, Jordan. Oh, look at that. We got water. Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing another Love Local box with uh, two weeks. 
clover belt on the 20th, I think it is the 20th. Is it the 20th? It might be the 21st. Be the 20th. I, I don't know. So that week. This into the fridge. For your next No Waste Wednesday. Okay. For the next No Waste Wednesday. Why do I always do that? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. So what's going on in the salad? Okay, so now, what are we going to put in the salad? This is going in. Oh, it's going right in there? Yep. Okay. Did you, you didn't think it was going to go in I, there? I did not. I thought they'd be separate. I'm a little confused as to your salad. Why? It's odd to mix hot and cold with salad. Yeah. I would say. So you're not a chef. Those are looking really good. Okay, so then we want to make... Okay, we've got some uh, rice wine. Honey dill. What do you think? I do love honey dill. Think this will work? Not really sure. Okay, uh, hmm. A little bit of problem here. The cluster. Nope. Looking for something to stir in. Here we go. Into the wok. <laughs> Into the wok. Okay, let's, uh, okay, that's good. Let's, uh, hit this up here. Do you ever just drink honey dill sauce, or is that just me? Probably just you. Okay, so we've got some honey dill going on. Probably might want to do that to dip your fish in. Yes. Oh my. These look amazing. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Okay, so we got that in there. Rice wine vinegar. What the sweet. Like I've done champagne before, eh? Okay, we got that in there. No waste Wednesday. Oil. Oh. It's a squirter. Look at that. Oh, those are beautiful. Golden brown. Nicely done. looking fish fingers. Okay, so now we need the. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. This is how you make your own. Uh, what we need in there? A little sugar. Cut the acidity. Cut the acidity. Now I'm just looking for measurements for everything. No measurements. Should I do it? Boom. Into the salad. I don't think we have a big enough bowl for the salad. Just throwing that one out there. Beautiful salad, nice color. Smells good. You got literally everything in there. You can everything want. in there that you want in a salad is in there. Maybe some things you don't want. Maybe some things you don't want. <clears throat> okay, so then, wow, that was pretty easy, eh? That was a quick one. Okay, so are we going to plating? On the plating. We're going into uh, this one. Sure. Cool. Go on this one. Serving the fingers on a bed. I'm going with salad. Beautiful. Is that beautiful or what? Beautiful. Just put that to the side. Now. Look how beautiful these are. Those are crispy golden brown. Is that beautiful? What else do you need? We need a, a little, little sauce, eh? 
to accompany your walleye fingers back to the honey dill. It's a honey dill kind of day. <clears throat> there it is, folks. Coconut gluten-free walleye fingers with a no-waste Wednesday salad. Whatever's in your fridge, I challenge you to have no waste and try something new. Try something with the family. That is beautiful, isn't it? Taraz, I don't know why you're not doing the walleye fingers. Taraz, should I try it? Yeah, I'll try it out. Nicely cooked, nice and white. That's what we love to see. Get that nice taste of coconut in there. Uh-huh. That's very nice. Oh, that oh. That looks hot. Sorry, Johnny, we didn't use your uh, salad dressing. That's good. Eh? Oh. Unreal. Off the hook. Till next week. Uh, bye bye.